All right, hello everyone, this is Mr. Kirchner. I want to give you help on um, all of these five problems that we're doing today. So um, I'm going to walk through each one and give you help on it and get you started. So problem number one says graph the line and find the inclination. Well, what that means is you're going to have a line, and I'll give you a clue. It's going to look something like this, I believe. And we're looking for this inclination, which means if I were to make an angle out of the line, and the positive x-axis, what angle would that be? So we're trying to find that degrees. Um, there's a formula. If you've forgotten the formula uh, in the book, page 415, example number one, we'll give you that formula for that. But you have to graph the line, and this line's not in slope-intercept form. So what you want to do is put it into y equals mx plus b, and that'll give you the slope, and that'll give you the intercept, and you can graph it quickly. Uh, number two, uh, graph two lines, find the measure of the acute angles. Well, I'll give you a clue what it's going to look like. Um, it's going to be a real tiny angle out here, and one line's going to be going down, one line's going to be going up. But again, we're trying to find the angle that's formed by the lines this time. So it could be this side or this side. Either one of them, they're both the same. And again, if you've forgotten the formula, uh, page 415, example two has the formula you need. Uh, graph the parabola. When you're graphing parabola, I've made three videos to help with that. Um, Got to do all these parts right down here. And the main thing to remember about a parabola is that wherever the vertex is, in whatever the direction, we have an axis that goes right through the middle. And if this is my vertex, if I move over a little bit this way, I can draw a line, and that is the directrix. And if I move over that same amount this way, I can draw a dot, and that is the focus. And the focus is a point that's been shifted over, and the directrix is a line that's been shifted over. And how do you figure out what this movement is? Well, you take your A value, take the absolute value of it, and divide it by 4. That will tell you the movement. And let's say, for example, if it's two-fourths, well, the movement is a half. So you move a half this way and a half that way. All right, people always ask about how do I draw my points? Once I make my table, how do I draw my points? Well, what I always do is I always turn my parabola this way, and then I count. And I go over one and then up, then over two and then up, then over three and then up, then over four and then up. So I'm always going up and over. I just turn my parabola. Like when you're making a regular parabola, you go over and up, over and up, over and up, and there's your parabola. If your parabola is facing this way, turn your paper and follow that same pattern. Over, up, over, up, over, up, over, up, and you'll get there. Uh, problem number four. Find the distance between a point and a line. Well, you're going to graph a line, graph a point, and we're looking for this distance where if I were to make a right angle, how far is that? And if you've forgotten the formula for that, it is page 416. It is examples 3 and 4. And the main thing about this formula is you have to take a line that maybe looks like that and turn it into a line that looks like this. So that's the form we need. You need this formula to find that distance. You need this formula to graph it. This helps us graph. This helps us find the distance. All right, and the last one, um, graph a line, line, line. Uh, be careful. I believe this one goes down. So when you find the angle of inclination, here, now you are past 90 degrees. And if you remember what we learned about arc tangent, is it's only defined in these two quadrants. And our angle is out here. What that means is your calculator is not going to give you the number you want. You're going to have to add 180 or 360, whatever makes sense to it, to find that angle. Um, graph them all. Check them all on Desmos. Um, Desmos will make sure you're getting on the right track. And five problems to do today. I hope this helps you with the problems.